My name is David Vaught. I'm a quality assurance representative from Tucson, Arizona. This area of the Southwest is very, very silty and unstable. Um, just over the California border with us is a, a large area of sand dunes that's very popular for recreational vehicles. And it's, it's very fine, almost uh, like baby powder. We have really um, interesting soil conditions here in this area of Yuma. It's a very silty base which does not allow the contractor to dig a stable footer. So right now they, they over X significantly and reprocess the soil with cement conditioning, recompact it so they can dig a two foot footer. Right now they're excavating the native soil and dropping it through a sieve to screen out all the undesirable material, all the large rocks, um, native plant, pieces. They want to get a very clean mix to put back in the processor that they add moisture and the cement to for the backfill of the over excavated footer. The mixing of the concrete and the soil is happening right there in the truck as we speak. It doesn't go through a cement mixer, it actually gets processed and shot, uh, direct transferred into the over excavated footer right now, out of the back of the chute there. So with the conditioned soil, it's a lot different than concrete coming out of a, a true concrete mixer. This has very little moisture in it, and this is really only for soil stabilization. So they mix in cement with the native soil to stabilize the walls of the excavation and help support barrier construction. So this is the final conditioned soil product that they're processing here for our excavated footer. Uh, as you can see, it's just cement mixed in with the native silty base that we have and a very small amount of moisture to get it to hold together. The final product of our conditioned soil allows them to make a very supportive footer for the barrier. It's very hard digging for the guy who has to come back and dig the two foot footer. Hard enough that the contractor has to replace the teeth on his excavator bucket every few days. So the piece of equipment we have right here is a mobile processor. In the back here we have the hopper that has all the cement product dry in it. And the loader operator will fill the native back up into the large hopper. It'll be processed with water from the water truck and come out the chute here at the end into our larger footer. This is an industrial sieve. They're using it to screen off any undesirable vegetative debris or rocks to be placed in our conditioned soil. The rocks and vegetative debris are not desirable for going through the soil conditioning machine because it gets stuck in the hopper and the corkscrew chute.